and welcome back to FTV Interactions. Um, as you can see, I've expanded the uh, um, pedestal that this altar is on because we are going to go ahead and get this out of the way with uh, upgrading. Finally get it up to the final stage. Let's throw that back in here. Love all these part of particle effects. It just looks so cool. But yeah, that's the only difference between the celestial altar and the iridescent altar's uh, uh, base is that it has basically 28 more of these marble bricks. And now this is fully upgraded. Yay! Uh, speaking of upgrading, whoops. I also made up this lovely attunement altar. Attunement altars, pretty simple. Just some brass screws, a crystal of any type, shifting star, rune marble. Spectral Relay, Aquamarine, all that sort of jazz. So what I want to do is I want to attune myself to a constellation. And the constellation I'm choosing is Aborcio. So you just hold your uh, constellation paper in your offhand, and you'll get these blue bites, which will show you where... Oops, it goes there. Shows you where to put them. And there we go. So that is actually done. We go ahead and put that back. And now, we'll just step right in and tune ourselves <clears throat> to this constellation. Why this constellation? Well, because uh, this has to do with block destruction. Um, and that will, uh, since I do a lot of mining off camera, this will actually help me to build up the perk points a lot faster. Okay, we are slowly but surely getting there. All the particle effects. And there we go. So now if we look, I also have... <laughs> a perk tree, or perk talent, perk point, whatever. And we just have to uh, click on that, and voila. So we get uh, experience by breaking blocks, we're faster at mining, and therefore, uh, so on and so forth. Also, also, I was messing around with this. Oops. Yeah, I didn't want to uh, speed up the door. With this, I did the uh, the various components for where is that quest? This one made up the end rod, made up the evil tier. Had the endstone, had the obsidian. The eagles here. Actually, really simple infusion crafting. It says it's dangerous, but come on. It, with the way I've got it set up, it's not that dangerous at all. Indium dust, wither ash, a couple of nocturnal powder, a couple of high covalence dust, which is just medium covalence, sapphire dust, liquid starlight, glowstone, and a mana diamond. And then the end rod, it's just fusion crafting. Uh, some empowered void crystals, phantom bridge reagent, which is soul sand, obsidian, and chiseled stone, a couple of flawless ventium, and four end stone, along with a blaze rod. Um, so you just set it up like this. You have the end stone underneath, and then you three by three, and then you got it surrounded by the obsidian. 
And this is like a spacing from this point up three blocks you know, from the, uh, the level of the obsidian. And then you just have the end rod underneath. You right click it with the evil tear and whammo. Now, I could jump in there now. Could, but I'm not going to. <laughs> because I would very much like to well, fly around for one thing. But yes, I want to get creative flight. And the way to be able to do that, let's just head on over to our lucky star part. Oh, yes, I've got to pick up the iridescent altar in order to get that quest completed. So let's go ahead and do that. Um, why is it? There we go. Uh, let's have seven this whole thing there. Oh, come on. Oh, to hell, you stupid things. Oh, I hate them. All right, now I've got that quest completed. Gives us celestial crystal, a couple more celestial papers. What does that have? Gilu and Alcara. Let's go ahead and just toss those in there. This celestial crystal is another perfect crystal. So I've got two of those perfect ones right here. This one is attuned to something. No idea yet. I also made these up off camera. You just toss, them, uh, toss a rock crystal in liquid starlight along with a star metal dust. And you can grow those. It's not hard at all. All right, let's come back down where it's safe. And I don't have to deal with these idiotic things anymore. What I want to do is I want to make the mantle of the stars and tune the mantle of the stars. So I need resonating gems, I need stardust, illumination powder, leather tunic. Um, so, and then rock crystal, any type of any type. Uh, so, do I have any resonating gems? No, I don't. Yay. So those are made up again by Aquamarine, Stardust, and Mana Pearls. Alrighty. Get those and those. And head on back here. Go away, you friggin' things. There. We got plenty of mana to be able to do this. Okay, I didn't overshoot. Super simple. So simple, even I can do it. And mind you, that uses up a lot of mana. Of 
course. And yes, there are ways to automate this, make it a lot easier. Uh, I really should. I'll go ahead and do that. Star metal, illumination, or stardust. So let's go ahead and grab all this stuff up. Oops, down. Four of those. Actually, let's request one more of those. I'm going to need one of these. Ooh, it takes that type. Let's see if I can get that. Nope. So let's hope that that actually can I convert it. I really hope that allows me to do it. Although I have a feeling it's not going to. Stardust to the star metal. It should turn into star metal ingots. Instead of this. Okay. Um, this also needs a feather and an underburrow. Oops. Okay. Already have that made up. So the only other things we need will be the illumination powder and the crystal. Illumin illumination powder we should already have made up, yes. And the crystal can use any type. Screw it, I'll just use this. Still going, I'm also going to need, oh, I need more spectral relays. Oh, do I have any? Well, go ahead and request some brass. Actually, just request this. And come on over to the cutting saw. And then lay it up. Okay. Ah, uh, yes, uh, the spectral relays. Recipe for those, I do need infused wood and chiseled marble. So we'll grab up two of these. Thank 
grab a chisel. Really? Leave me the help. Whoa! Sick and tired of those things. Two more of these relays. I seriously hate them. Do I have any more torches here? Toss these idiotic things in there. Why am I grabbing torches? Well, just for the time being. Okay, that takes a lot of sterilite power. So in the meantime, we'll just go ahead and ah, keep killing these idiotic things off. <clears throat> now what I should do is you notice those torches those are interdiction torches that I made off screen. And uh, when I'm on the ground, they do a really decent job of making sure that these friggin' things do not attack me. Ooh, am I gonna have to. Okay, this is not enough starlight by far. Um, okay, what is the recipe for an attuned collected crystal? Oops, don't. All right, it's not that. This concept, yeah, this one, yes, enhanced collective crystal. Okay, make crest collector crystal that way, which is simple enough. And the enhanced one. Da, 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 da. Okay. So. Doesn't look like I can actually make that. Okay. 
However, you know what? These are not going to be that great, but let's go ahead and get our linking tool. Link that to the altar. Oh yeah, that's plenty of power. And it needs the feather right here. Ender pearl goes right here. Star metal dust goes here. And I'm hoping it is not taking it. Dang it. All right, this is just an or dictionary screw up. So here's what I'm going to do I'm going to open this up to LAN. And. going to go ahead and do this and toss that. Oh, not 64 of them, just one. And I will figure out how to do this properly in the, uh, for the next time to make sure that we get this, but just wanted to show that on camera that that's all I was doing, just making the one switch. And there we go, we've got our chaos crap going here. A couple more infused glass. Okay. So. Stars. Do not want the Armara. We want the Vicio. Or Vicio. So it did sugar, string, raw fish, and feathers. Oops. Where are we? There we are. This is string, sugar, that, and the raw fish I have up here, I think. I hope. There it is. Good. And in order to do this, I also need to pull the gear out. Do I have the... No, of course I put it back. All right, just put... Bless it! All right, you know what? I don't think I'm going to have enough time. Actually, you know what? I will. I'm going to finish this up. Because to heck with it. Let's see, uh, 
No, not Mineralis. There is the Biscuo. Oh, oh yes. In order to do that, I actually need a crystal attuned. I'll just take this one. All right. I'll tell you what, I will be back in just a moment once we get back to a dark time. So be right back. All right, we're getting close enough to uh, night. Also, let's kill this stupid thing real quick before it gets over here. There. And I just wanted to go ahead and make a, oh, yes, let's. Grab these up real quick. So I wanted to make another stack of these interdiction torches real quick. Oh, just die already. All right. I'm going to go ahead and do this. Oh, what's the matter, jerks? You can't hit me now, huh? <laughs> Of course, they can still get in. Destroy. I haven't uh, completely sealed the deal here. Let's go ahead and do that. That. So, so let's see. I'll just do that. I want to make sure that this is safeguarded as best as I can get it before we get on with what the rest of this. There we go. Those stupid things are not going to give me any more problems. All right. Now, let's grab the keel in our hand. Crystals or the uh, relays. Go. Is that it? Yeah, that's it. Do I have it in every spot properly? <sighs> yes, I do, but Vicio is not in the sky tonight. Yay! Oops, let's grab that out of there. Just throw it back in, and uh, yeah. Okay, well, it looks like I'm not going to be able to complete this today. Not a problem. Everything's pretty much just set for the next go around. So I will tell you what. I'll go ahead and uh, end things here. 
Uh, I'll do a little bit of uh, digging online. Oh, look. Ha, ha, ha. Hey, guys. How you guys doing? Huh? Oh, no. You can't hit me anymore, can you? Aw. Oh, sucks to be you. God, I hate them. Uh, <laughs> so, yeah, we're going to go ahead and leave it here. Um, if you like what you saw, go ahead and hit the like button. If you have any comments or questions, go ahead and leave those in the comment section below. Uh, I'm going to do a little bit of research to see if there's any way to do an or dictionary um, thing with the star metal to make sure that I can do that again without having to cheat myself in some of the star metal that's necessary or star metal ingots. Um, if there is a way, then cool. If not, well, hopefully I don't have to do that again. But uh, on that note, that's where we're going to leave it. Thanks for stopping by. Have a good one.